He is a scientist at NASA Mars Exploration Rover Mission. Uh, Doctor, good to see you. Good to have you here with us again on TRT World. While NASA has not ruled out uh, extraterrestrial sources for these UAPs, what specific evidence or findings would be needed to de definitively attribute a UAP to an extraterrestrial origin? Right. So, so you have hit the nail on the head. Um, so let me back up a little bit. There are, um, and I'll explain this problem. There are a trillion um, galaxies in the universe. Each galaxy has a trillion stars. So there are one followed by 24 zero suns, just like our sun in the universe. So what is the likelihood that only our sun has life? It's virtually zero. So if life is so widespread in the universe, why are we not encountering life? And the reason for that is two reasons. One is our um, ability to travel in space is very limited. So our spacecraft like the Voyager is 0 0.0005 uh, times the speed of flight. And if you think of, um, if that is the speed you're going, the nearest star is four light years away. So it will take 90,000 years to go to the nearest star. And if you want to go to the nearest galaxy, it will take 500 million years to go to the next nearest galaxy. And the other problem is human life is too short. I mean, um, you know, it's 80 average lifespan. And then if you think of the human race, um, uh, the lifespan is probably 100,000 years. Or if you think of intelligent life, it is even smaller, maybe 500 years, where industrial, post the industrial revolution. Um, so where, what you re really talked about is we, when we see something in the sky which we cannot recognize, we say it's a UFO, unidentified flying object. Somehow, the connection is made. If it is unidentified, it must be alien. And so where this is where the NASA report comes in. And what it is saying is when you see something which you do not recognize, let's have a lot of data on it. Let's have cross-agency, like other uh, U.S. government agencies also contribute, like the a a Aviation Administration, like the Na NASA Administration, like maybe the Department of Defense. So let's have more data so that we can weigh in the question. Because in the end, you're trying to answer a very big question. Are you saying that the UFO that you saw, the unident unidentified object that you saw, is an alien spaceship that is coming 90,000 years from another star um, to see us? Well, to support that, you need really very, very strong evidence. As NASA says, uh, extraordinary um, things require extraordinary evidence. So, so that's where the... Um, where, where, I think where the report is going. Right, and, and Dr. Ghosh, uh, the report uh, released by NASA also suggests that artificial intelligence uh, may be used uh, to basically investigate uh, these uh, events uh, further. How, is, how exactly is that going to work? See, if you're seeing something, see, artificial intelligence is good at what? Learning from repeated patterns. If you're looking at, so that's what, right? I mean, for speech, that's how it, it's applied. So here, if you think that there's some repeated things happening which are very strange, well, maybe artificial intelligence can help flag and understand that better. Dr. Amitabh Ghosh, it's always a pleasure talking to you, sir. Thank you very much for talking to us here on TRT World. Really appreciate your taking out the time.